Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today I'm going to show you how to build your games out for the web. Your builds can be used to share it with friends, other customers, or just get a way to add to your portfolio. So you can upload to Unity's Unity Play platform, which entirely doesn't take any hosting from you. You can put it on your own website if you so wish. You can even put it on platforms like itch.io, who have platforms specifically for HTML5 games. We'll need a game or something that you've created. We need to make sure that WebGL is attached in Unity Hub. We need to make sure we've installed the publisher package in Unity and then we can go and upload it. It's only a few clicks and I'll show you exactly how to do it all. Then in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload my Pong game, which I was creating, which has some special abilities like a power shot and loads of different effects. And you can actually try this out yourself. It's got a versus component, so you can choose the amount of score that you've got. You can use W and S to go up and down on the left side, space to do the power shot when the green bar is full, and then up and down with the arrow keys for the right hand side controller, and then press the right control key to do a power shot. I may well add some more powers to it and do some different things, but I don't know just yet. So first of all, you want to get navigate and open Unity Hub. You want to go to your Installs tab, and then you want to find the editor version that you're using. And it goes all the way, you can do this WebGL building from 2019 onwards. I was using 2021 for this. And you'll find your build, press the little cog next to it and click Add Module. You can just click to add the WebGL build support by clicking the little box and clicking Install, and it will install and do it for you. Now, once you've got that, you can open your project up in Unity. You can go to the Package Manager by going Window and then Package Manager. Then you want to filter by Unity Registry and type in Web and you will get the WebGL Publisher package, which you can just then install into your version of Unity. Then you'll get this tab at the top. And if you don't, you might want to restart Unity and you'll be able to publish your builds. Now from there, we need to make sure that we go to File, Build Settings, and you add all of your scenes that you're using which are relevant to your build in here. And you can drag them in by dragging your scenes in or adding the current or adding the open scenes. Then you might be on Windows by default. You can go to WebGL and click Switch Platform. And once we switch the platform, you may well get an error if you're in the linear workspace because that doesn't always work. Now if you need to do or adjust something, you can go to Edit project settings and when the project settings pop out you want to make sure you navigate to player mine's currently set to the gamma color space but if you don't and you're set to linear you need to disable automatic graphics api because it doesn't support it in the version of webgl that you might want and then in the rest of the player settings you can set your company name the product name and what version just so that you can get this all correct so once you go there, go to project, WebGL project, and then it will say get started. You can click get started and then it will ask you to build and publish a package. So you can click build and publish and it might take you to your game that you've created and WebGL builds, which you can just select to select that folder. And then it will start creating a build that you need to be able to upload to the website. And when you're waiting for your game to build out, be sure to subscribe to Speed Tutor. Throw a like on this video for me because it's really helpful. And you can also join my Patreon to get access to over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Then once your upload is complete, you can press a done. And then because your build is here, you can choose to publish this build. Or if you already have a pre-existing one, you can do that too. So I'll click publish. And then it'll start uploading to my Unity account, which I'm logged into from Unity Hub. And then during that process, it will take me to what the name of my actual build was called. So I can name it something else. I can name it Pong Test, and it's called my micro game. And you can change any settings, whether you want to tag it as something or to be able to add controls, you can just click save. And then you can actually just press play. And then from there, you can start the game as you would want to. And you'll be able to play like before just on the web directly in the web browser and then if you want to do something else like sharing it to your website you can choose to embed and you get iframe and you can put it into any html or any content management system you can send it to email across twitter reddit and do remember if you do navigate to where your project built out for webgl you've got all the actual assets here to be able to upload this to itch.io or somewhere like that that will take the actual html5 files or whether it's a web server of your own to host it fully yourself and if you do want to know how to do this you can mention down in the comments and i could make another video 
but I hope this is a really nice way to get yourself started and you can upload straight to the Unity Play without any issues at all, no overhead on hosting and be able to share it as much as you want. Do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev for this month. And also be sure to check out my website to get over 20 to 30% off my assets compared to the Unity asset stall. And thank you so much to all my patrons. Big thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.